Hi, this is your math prof, Barbara Rademacher, and we are going to analyze some word problems. Word problems don't have to be hard if you break them down and imagine in your mind what's really going on. Let's read the first one. This is from my math lab. Translate to an equation, then solve. So first we translate to an equation, then we solve the equation. Here it is. The product of 4 and a number increased by 6 is negative 24. What is the number? Notice how important commas are here because they set off this phrase. All right, so let's look at this. The word product means multiply two or more numbers. The phrase a number in and a number increased by 6 means that you don't know what the number is. So you call it by a letter. Um, I chose to call it in. You could call it anything you want. If the number in, that a number, is increased by 6, that means that n is going to be made bigger by 6. 6 is going to be added to n. So a number increased by 6 is n plus 6. And in algebra, the word is is always equals. Almost always. Never say always. OK. All right. Therefore, what the problem is really saying is, 4 is going to be multiplied by a number that has 6 added to it. That is, 4 is going to be multiplied by a number that has 6 added to it. When that happens, the answer will be negative 24. So here we are. 4 multiplied by a number that has 6 added to it. Now notice that you have parentheses around the n plus 6 because the n plus 6 is one number. That is, it's the unknown number with 6 added to it. And then 4 gets multiplied by it. And then the answer is negative 64. So let's work this out now. Make a little more room. I'm going to distribute. Not, not in red. OK, how about this color? 4n plus 24. What I did was I took the 4 and I multiplied by n, and I multiplied by 6, and I got 4n plus 24 equals negative 24. And so then we subtract 24. That is, we add the opposite of 24, which is negative 24. We add negative 24 to both sides of the equation. 24 plus negative 24 on the left side, 0 out. Bring down the 4 in. Meanwhile, over on the right side of the equation, negative 24 plus negative 24 is negative 48. All right, now, this is what the equation says right now. It says 4 times n equals negative 48. I need n by itself. So the only way I can remove a 4 that's multiplied by the n is to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I'll divide by 4, and I'll divide by 4. The 4's on the left cancel out because 4 over 4 is 1. That will leave me a 1n, or just an n, on the left equals negative 48 divided by positive 4. That's going to be negative 12. Now, let's see if it's true. If we multiply 4 times some number that 6 was added to, well, if we're saying that negative 12 is some number, then negative 12 with 6 added to it is that really going to equal negative 24? 
So, look, I went back to an old-timey x for multiplication. 4 times negative 12 plus 6 is negative 6. Does that equal negative 24? You bet it does. Positive 4 times negative 6 is negative 64. <laughs> negative 24, so negative 24 equals negative 24 is a true statement. And this true means that the answer I got for n, negative 12, is the answer. Okay, let's go back and look at what we did. We had to translate because it's a word problem. The word problem was the product. Product means multiply. The product of a number, so product means multiply, the product of 4 and this number, which is a number plus 6. So when you multiply 4 times n plus 6, you get negative 24, and then you solve it by distributing and going through the mechanics of solving an equation. And here I am way down here. Our answer is negative 12. OK, let's try another one. How about 4 plus 3 times a number is 5 times the number? Well, that sounds like French, doesn't it? But it's not. All right, here we go. We're going to say 4 plus. Well, that's pretty clearly 4 plus, isn't it? Let's write it down here. 4 plus. All right, 3 times a number is going to be 3 times a number is is equals, but now we have what this equals is 5 times the number. What is the number? It's the same number as a number. All right, so this time 5 is being multiplied by it. And this is what it says. 4 plus 3 times a number is 5 times the number. What is the number? I don't know. We're going to have to uh, 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 solve the equation. Let's do it. I'm going to add negative 3 in to both sides of the equation. so that I can zero this out. When you add opposites, you get zero. I'm going to be left with a 4 over here. 5n minus 3n, you say 5 minus 3 is 2. And then when you're adding and subtracting, you write the letter again. But you can also think of it this way. You've got 5n's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You've got 5 of them. You take away 3 of them. How many does that leave? That leaves you two of them. Although this looks like I'm multiplying and I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm adding them. This is 5 and, I mean, n and n and n and n and n. Five times. Took away three of them. I'm left with two. OK, one more thing to go. I don't care what 2n equals. I care what n equals. So the only way I can get n by itself is to divide both sides by 2 because this 2 is not added or subtracted to the n. It's multiplied by the n. And the only way to get rid of a number multiplied by a letter is to divide both sides by that letter. So I'm canceling out the 2's there, which leaves me with n on the right side over here. I'll have 4 divided by 2, which is 2. And there's my answer. Now let's see if it's true. 4 plus 3 times a number, if this is the number, then 4 plus 3 times a number is 5 times the number. <laughs> what I do there, that should be a 2, is 5 times the number. So this will be 4 plus 6 equals 5 times 2. That's 10. 
4 plus 6 is 10. I have 10 equals 10, which is a true statement. When I have a true statement from my check, that means this was indeed the real answer. Whoops, there we go. I keep forgetting. Of, uh, yeah, I keep forgetting to check how far down the paper I've come. But we were right. N equals 2 is the number. Okay, I'll see you later with another video.